I just got myself a lighting softbox and thought um, it's quite complicated to put together so since I've already learned from doing the first one I'm going to make a wee video of how the second one goes together. Now these are devices used for lighting in a studio environment, um, good for photography, good for filming and they basically have a number of lamp holders and a cowling. Now I'm going to assemble the cowling now. It comes with a tripod. Quite an industrial tripod, it's not bad. So the first thing I'm going to do is open this tripod up. There we go. And lock it. One nice thing about this is that it's got uh, springs in here, so if you drop these down, they're going to absorb the impact, so you're not going to damage lighting, hopefully. So I'll put this here. I just keep an eye on the small screen of the camera here, just to make sure everything's roughly central. And I'm going to keep it quite low. Then, I'm going to mount the, mount the head unit on it. Now this has uh, two adjustments, it's got an angle adjustment and the uh, adapter for mounting it on the spigot. The angle adjustment is quite stiff and clicky, um, so um, that's uh, worth noting. You may find it takes surprising force to move it and so on. Uh, I'm going to loosen this off. Now this comes with um, a plastic cap on top covering a quarter inch thread. Um, which you can remove if you want, but I'd actually recommend leaving it on because of, uh, it's designed for various applications and I think it's better to leave it on in these because it kind of fits this better but you know, if, if you buy one of these, it's your whatever version you end up with just a adapt to suit. So that's that mounted on. And now comes the really complicated bit. You get this is the soft box unit itself, and it comes with a, a little bag, which is now I'm using the cats, some silks, four little rods, which I'll just remove the rubber band from, And the softbox itself, which just opens up like a big cowl. Now, depending on what you actually get, because there seem to be quite a few different versions of this, you might get uh, ones that have tabs, Velcro tabs that can be opened. Um, and on this case, I've got two Velcro tabs that can be opened and two Velcro tabs that can't be opened. So I'm going to put the ones that can't be opened up at the top. And I'm going to stretch the elastic in the back of this and put it over the um, the lighting unit to kind of pass in its own right. Ooh, dropping rods everywhere. The rods have a blunt end with a plastic cap and a sort of metal pointy end, not pointy sharp, but um, still uh, thinner than the other end. So the metal end is going to go into the light in this instance and the blunt end is going to go into the Velcro uh, holders. So initially, That will go in there, the blunt end of the rod, the plastic end, and on the light head, the head itself, there are holes, uh, four holes around it, uh, but the ones in this case have um, arrows pointing at them. So I'm going to put the top two in, like this. I have to say, this task isn't all that easy. Um, it, they're, they're quite a tight, springy fit because they're designed to hold it fairly rigid. Now, it'd be quite hard to put them in uh, in the same way um, if you uh, were one to put the bottom two in. Uh, the top ones, the closed caps, would make it quite hard to stretch over. So, the bottom ones in this instance have a little Velcro tab, and you can actually thread the rod in from the outside like this 
and put it into the unit. And I'll do it another one as well. Quite pretty, I have to say. So they go in from the outside, and again into the last of the holes. The holes seem quite flimsy in these. They don't, they're not angled or anything like that. They seem quite as though you could break them quite easily, but so far, so good. Um, then, once you've done that, you pull the tabs down and then fold the velcro around and onto itself and that tensions everything and brings the rods uh, into position. Quite footy, I have to say. I think the more you do it, the easier you'll find it. And that's the, that bit done. Now, at this point, you're ready to put the lamps in. And if you're very lucky, the lamps which come in these nice bubble wrapped envelopes might be intact. Or, if you're unlucky, you may actually get a, a pile of broken glass and uh, dangly bits. Which, uh, while, while I've got this uh, out here, uh, it's worth noting the capacitor inside, the electrolytic capacitor, is rated for 100 volts at 10 microfarad, which means there's going to be less ripple than a typical cheapo compact fluorescent. So, um, yeah, that's a wee bit disappointing. Fortunately, only one was broken. When you're actually putting these lamps in, make sure that you only hold it by the base. Um, it's not really a good idea to hold these by the glass you can break. But basically speaking, you're going to be um, sticking the lamps in. I mean, I won't, I won't carry on too much here because it's not really that complicated, that aspect of it. Now, the silks. Here we go. Now, is this going to be a two silk one or a, it's got the two silks? Now, you've got an option. I don't know if it's just designed as an option or if it's a standard thing you do, but there's an inner silk, this little inner silk here, which goes on to inner Velcro tabs. And I think this is just to increase the diffusion by offering two levels of diffusion inside it. So that goes on like that. Quite easy. You don't have to use the diffusion, you can just use it as a, as a uh, reflective light source. In fact, come to think of it, in certain instances where you just want to bounce light, you don't even need to use this whole thing, you could just have the lights pointing into a, a corner of a room. Because with um, seven lamps, it's quite going to be quite a bright light. Loud noises of a cat playing with a box. You're never going to fit in that box, cat. Now this has little patches of velcro around the, the edges, and the edges are curved, so this goes on like that. Looks around the sides. Velcro just gets padded in. And that's it. So, um, quite easy to assemble uh, once you know how, but I have to say, um, when I originally got this unit, it didn't come with any instructions and it took me a while to work out how to put it together. So, hopefully, that's going to save you guys lots of uh, hassle.